I'm Chris Greenlee. I'm a resident here at the OHSU Emergency Medicine Program. Simulation is a really important part of our learning, really throughout all three years. In the intern year, especially in the beginning, I think it's really cool to see some of our second and third years like really show off their knowledge and experience and lead some of the cases. And they're so good about pulling us in for like, all right, you do the airway or like you do this procedure. And it gives us uh, that space really early on in intern year to really step up responsibility in a more protected environment. Uh, and then as intern year goes on, there's all, also like ample opportunities for us to, all right, your turn to lead a resuscitation on this coding patient. Whereas, you know, you don't always get that experience early on in the clinical environment. Um, so I think it, it, it's, it's a really great way to start stepping up your responsibility. Yeah, so early on in intern year, we typically start off working shifts on the team one. Um, so as the intern, you're working closely with the third year residents and the attending on that team. Um, it's, the, it's a perfect shift, a perfect level of responsibility to sort of start out intern year, picking up patients. Uh, you get to cherry pick a little bit and sort of pick up the more interesting cases. But then as the year goes on, as you gain confidence in other rotations, you come back to the emergency department and you have the opportunity to start taking up a, a few shifts on team two, where it's just you basically filling the role as a second year resident, working with the attending, uh, and you, you get the opportunity to, to really increase your responsibility, see more patients, work just one-on-one -on -one with the attending. Um, and it, it feels like the right time in the year to start taking those steps to, to really up your game. Um, maybe it's a little overwhelming at times, but it's the right time to, to really grow as an emergency medicine clinician. Um, and then you also go back and, and you pick up a few more R1 shifts as well, so you can sort of take that learning back to back to a little bit more of a comfort zone uh, as you transition towards second year. Yeah, advice that I would give, and advice that I got is take a deep breath, relax. Everyone here is super friendly. Everyone here knows that you're just starting off residency. Sure, you've got a lot of knowledge from medical school, but like you're still learning how to apply that. You're still learning how to ask the right questions and to interact with patients in the right ways. And uh, just take a deep breath. It is gonna be okay. It's gonna feel overwhelming at times, um, but if you just let that sit for a little bit and then move on, you've got so many people here helping you along the way uh, and it's all gonna work out great.